Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a video on a really interesting perfume house called Chantecai. <laughs> I think I'm pronouncing that correctly. Um, I have their fragrance discovery collection. So I'm gonna be giving you my first impressions, letting you know what the different fragrances from the range smell like. If you're new here, then hello, welcome. We're all about perfumes. I have hundreds of videos just like this, going through whole ranges, new releases. So do check them out. And of course my blog as well, where I have detailed articles and where you can also get my perfume Empress and pre-order um, Aphrodite that's coming out later this year and of course my beautiful soy candles which I'm obsessed with and if you're a regular do make sure that you're subscribed and give the video a thumbs up that really helps me and as always links will be in the description box where you can buy these perfumes all around the world where they are available. Cool so Chantecaille is actually an American brand even though it definitely sounds French and they're famous really for their um, skincare that uses botanical ingredients, vegan, cruelty-free. Uh, the motto is the Alliance of Nature and Science, and they're sold in places like Harrods. And the perfumes have been around since 1997. So there are nine fragrances in the collection. I have the Discovery set here. And then I have this one bottle, which is of their Tiari fragrance. As you can see, the bottle's really, really beautiful. Kind of reminds me a bit of Lalique. Nice thick glass with this sort of decor on and then you've got a big sort of crystal ball lid. So if we give this one a try first. Hmm. So Tiori flower is actually one of my favorite ingredients. Here, I'm actually getting quite a lily of the valley feel to the Tiari. Yeah, this is definitely a lily of the valley perfume. Um, if you remember the Penhaligon's fragrances, Penhaligon's, what was it called? Was it just called lily of the valley? That was recently discontinued. This is what that is definitely reminding me of. Um, I'm not getting as much Tiari flower. I um, mean, it's such a delicate note, Tiari flower. I'm not surprised the lily of the valley is really coming in there. I'm also getting some ylang, ylang a hint of rose. Essentially, it's a very fresh floral, slightly green floral, basically just like Lily of the Valley is. Feminine, pretty, I have to say it's quite um, strong, like it's not super light. They are, of course, Eau de Parfums. These are a 75 mil, by the way. Yeah, I'm still really getting the Lily of the Valley. So this is definitely one for Lily of the Valley fans. Okay, what should we try next? Well, they have one called Frangipan and that's, uh, or Frangipani, I can never remember which how to say it um, and which is another of my favorite notes so let's try that one mm. Mm. yeah that really smells like frangipani to me frangipan is um or frangipani whatever you say it, is like a tropical scent a tropical flower yeah and i i definitely get that feeling of being in the tropics again it's got some ylang ylang in it's not as strong as the tiari one was where I'm still really getting green, slightly powdery lily of the valley. This is much more delicate and probably something for the summertime, I'd say. Um, but yeah, if you like your frangipani notes, that's definitely um, one for, yeah, it feels like a true frangipani perfume. Okay, so next we've got one called Darby Rose. So that is a very strong rose. It feels like it's got a lychee and it. it's reminding me of like Carolina Herrera, very good girl. It's reminding me a bit of Delina from Parfum de Mali. Yeah, it's got a raspberry and cassis top note, it says, but I don't get those red fruits. I get more of like a lychee, slightly sour fruit with them, um, a really quite strong rose. It's definitely giving me Turkish delight vibes. Um, you know, that rose of uh, Turkish delight. And I think there's a bit of patchouli in the base, um, but not too much, um, but really Really, I'm getting, yeah, smells like Turkish Delight Rose, Turkish Delight. So next we've got one called Kalimantan. Ooh, and that's quite medicinal. Ooh, so for me, that smells almost a bit masculine, definitely very unisex. It says thyme, rosemary, I don't get those more aromatic notes. Bergamot, ylang ylang, yeah, I can see that. I think it's geranium, um, olibanum, rhubarb that I really get. Yeah, it's quite a medicinal geranium. Definitely feels unisex. I think an argar wood and a bit of leather in there as well. But I wouldn't say it was warm. I'd say it was like a fresh, herby floral, I guess. I definitely can imagine a product 
smelling like this, you know, like in a spa or something, um, like something quite strong. Again, this one is quite um, intense perfume as well. Hmm, interesting. It almost feels like it has aldehyde in. Okay, so this next one's called Le Wild. Love that name. So this one is quite a classic fragrance. It's got ambo, an ambergris note in it, um, which again is quite classic, like a Chanel number no. five type scent. And then lots of white florals, lily, jasmine, again, quite a classic um, white floral scent. Think like the classics Oscar de la Renta fragrances. Um, almost Joy, Jean Petu, those sort of famous in the 80s, 90s, those really floral ones, and of course, um, bef well before that as well. Yeah, we don't tend to get many perfumes like this now. That ambergris note is something that you tend to get a lot in classic fragrances, and you don't really see much in new releases. So this next one is simply called Petals. Mm. And that's really pretty. I'm getting um, tuberose, just fresh tuberose, fresh jasmine. It's got some gardenia, orange flower in here. So it's reminding me of Armani My Way. Yeah, like a more floral bouquet alongside um, that tuberose and jasmine that's in Armani My Way. Um, so th I think quite universal, you could wear this sort of any time of year. Mm. I think that's one of my favorites. I think my favorites so far are definitely the frangipani and then that's uh, in second place. So next we've got one called Vetiver. I think I can guess what this might smell like. Mm. So that's quite a fresh, very unisex, quite woody, earthy vetiver. It says here that it has nutmeg in, juniper, cypress, yeah. So I definitely get that alongside vetiver. Very earthy, reminds me of being in like a pine forest after it's rained, that type of vibe. And definitely one for those sort of green vetiver fans. Um, it smells really beautiful actually, it smells very like nature, like being outside in a forest. Mm, yeah, that would be lovely um, on a man as well as a lady, I think as well. I love that woodiness that really gives it depth. Sometimes vetiver can be a bit sharp, but here it's that earthiness, that depth is nice. That's really beautiful. And then they have one called vetiver cedra. So let's compare them. Mm, so that definitely feels different. Yeah, okay, it's got some geranium in, juniper. Yeah, this one feels more aromatic than it does vetivery. You've got the vetiver there, but rather than that green earthiness, you're getting more of the aromatic notes. Again, more towards like a spa type fragrance. Cedar wood, oil, geranium, juniper. I get a little bit of grapefruit in there as well, but it's um, all the other deep notes are there at the same time. So it's not like too citrusy. Okay, and then this last one's called Oud Fumé. So this one, you definitely get the oud, um, but it is calmed down a bit by some uh, aromatic notes, some geranium, rosemary, and there's also a smoky leather feeling to it. But again, it definitely feels unisex. Sometimes these like smoky oud fragrances can feel quite masculine. This doesn't, it could definitely be unisex. Mm, it's quite warm and again, heavy. Oud perfumes do tend to be quite heavy, um, but that's got a complexity to it, which is nice. And there's no sweetness. Sometimes you get a vanilla -y oud, it's not like that. It's an aromatic oud, I'd say. So really interesting. My, my impressions are that the fragrances are all very like nature inspired, which is obviously see what all the brand is about. They all remind me of different things in nature or they have a very natural and quite an aromatic theme throughout them. They all seem pretty good quality as well. They were all quite strong. Yeah, definitely French Penny is the favorite followed by the petals. I think um, if you are a fan of vetiver, the vet that vetiver is beautiful. And the Chiori Flower one is definitely one for Lily of the Valley fans. Um, so something quite different there. I think the kind of thing that, you, you know, you can't buy everywhere, so it's quite unusual. Yeah, I really enjoyed discovering like a whole different concept and different a niche brand, I'd say. Cool, so guys, let me know if you've tried any of the Ch Chantilly um, products or their skincare or anything. Let me know um, what your favorite is um, in the comments. And of course, I link in the description box where you can get these. Um, but that's it guys, so thanks so much for watching as always, and I will see you in the next video, bye.